Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is the channel that holds the largest collection of facts about every country, state or territory in the world. Before we begin, I ask you to click the subscribe button. I upload 3 times a week, every week, so there's plenty of content. Clipperton Island, also known as Passion Island, is a tiny dot of land in the eastern Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Central America. The place is pretty far from any major settlements, with Mexico being almost 1200 kilometers to the east and the Socorro Islands, the nearest land, about 950 kilometers away. So to say it's an isolated place is a gross understatement. The island is low-lying and largely barren, but there is some vegetation and even a few coconut palms. Nobody lives here, and nobody has, since 1945, but we'll get to that in a moment. Clipperton Island was discovered in 1711 by French explorers, who drew up the first map and claimed it for France. The current name comes from an English pirate who fought the Spanish during the early 18th century and who is said to have passed by the island. Some sources say he used it as a base for his raids on shipping, but there is no documentary evidence. Despite being so remote and barren, the island has been claimed by both the United States and Mexico. Both wanted the place mostly for its guano deposits. In the end, Emperor Napoleon III just annexed Clipperton in 1858, but this of course didn't settle the ownership question. In the late 19th century, Mexico once again reasserted its claim and even sent a gunboat to occupy and annex it. An actual colony was established and a series of military governors were put in place. This dispute for this tiny 6 square kilometer island went on for 12 years. In 1909, the two nations sought the arbitration of King Victor Emmanuel III of Italy, with each promising to abide by his determination. His decision came 22 years later and he awarded Clipperton to France. Diplomatically, this place was a headache, but the island's history is much more gruesome. The British Pacific Island Company won the rights to exploit the guano deposits in 1906. They built a settlement and the Mexican government a lighthouse. By 1914, around 100 men, women and children were living and working here. To survive, they relied on supply ships that came every two months from Acapulco. However, once the fightings in the Mexican Revolution escalated, the supply ships stopped coming and the people were left to their own devices. What followed is nothing short of a nightmare. By 1917, all but one of the male inhabitants had died. Many had perished from scurvy, while others died during an attempt to sail after a passing ship to fetch help. Lighthouse keeper Victoriano Alvarez was the last man on the island, together with 15 women and children. He was no saint. Alvarez proclaimed himself king and began an orgy of rape and murder before being killed by Tirza Rendon, who was the recipient of his unwanted attention. Almost immediately after Alvarez's death, four women and seven children, the last survivors, were picked up by a US Navy gunship on July 18, 1917. After this incident, no more attempts were made to colonize Clipperton Island, although it was briefly occupied during the 1930s and 40s. In 1962, Clipperton Island was once again home to a few people. Nine crewmen of the Tuna Clipper Monarch ended up on the island after their ship sank. Luckily, they were able to drink water from the lagoon and from the coconuts they found. The dilapidated buildings were unusable, but they were able to construct some crude shelter from cement bags and tin lying around. They used wood from the huts and buildings to build fire and were able to catch some fish. They even salvaged some potatoes and onions from the sinking vessel. This way, they managed to survive for 23 days until they were found and rescued. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't go near this place. 
I think it might be cursed or something. Clipperton Island might not be ideal for human habitation, but that doesn't mean others can survive. There are actually two species of reptiles living here, together with a species of land crabs and even rats, who were probably introduced by one of the boats that were wrecked nearby. There was also a population of pigs, also introduced by humans, but they were exterminated when it was discovered that they decimated the local bird population. Clipperton Island is an important nesting area of the mask and brown boobies, whose population was reduced to about 150 individuals. Today, that population recovered completely, with over 110,000 birds using the island as a breeding colony. You would think that, after all this history, the French government would have found a use for this tiny piece of land. Well, not really. During the 1960s, after Algeria won its independence, France was looking for another nuclear testing site, and Clipperton was high on the list. This was eventually ruled out due to the hostile climate and remote location. Then, they considered opening up the lagoon and developing a harbor for trade and tourism, but the high cost of such a transformation rendered the idea useless. Nowadays, Clipperton is only visited by researchers and recreational scuba divers, and even some amateur radio expeditions. These were 7 facts about Clipperton Island. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon. Link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.